Hello everyone, welcome back to Lincoln Journal Stars 4 Downs. Luke Mullen and Amy Just coming at you from Memorial Stadium. We're Nebraska officially over the halfway mark of its spring camp. We got the chance to watch a little bit of practice again today. A very big special teams flavor. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Lots of punt team work, uh, kick team work, uh, lots of rotating, lots of different guys. So I wouldn't say that there's a core like first team. It's just getting guys a bunch of reps in a bunch of different places. Absolutely. Yeah, they were trying guys out different spots. And of course, we saw punt coverage, kickoff coverage, all sorts of stuff, you know, protection too. Uh, of course, Ed Foley running those drills, you know, hard to miss. He's got a very boisterous voice out there on the practice field. But, you know, we, we heard from him and a few specialists there afterwards too just kind of talking about getting things in place you know it's a, a gradual process too but kicker Timmy Bleak Road you know he's talking about how the stuff that they focus on in the spring is a little bit different than what they do in the fall for example kickoffs pretty taxing on the leg so that stuff will come but getting those basic foundations down right now yeah and uh, punter Brian Bruschini was talking about a lot of the same things you know using the offseason to focus on his body getting everything right you know losing some weight in terms of fat but gaining on some muscle and so that'll help him even more when it comes this fall um working on directional punts uh just getting as many reps as possible um and being stronger while doing it Absolutely. And one of the other things we heard from uh, running backs coach EJ Barthel, you know, he's got a, a group that is all returning from last year, but at the same time, these are guys with a little bit of experience, not a whole ton of playing experience. So Barthel just kind of talking about how it's, it's a developmental process for these running backs right now. You know, you look at a guy like Anthony Grant played a lot last year, but that was his first, you know, major full season, you know, off season and you know, being better than that the next year, that's a different process altogether. Guys like Ramir Johnson, of course, you know, he's he's been in the program for a couple of years learning under a new running backs coach. So a lot of, you know, processes to kind of work through for this running back group too. That's something we've kind of been seeing in spring uh, for all these position groups, just working through that stuff. Yeah, and I mean, like that's been the key for every position group, right? This is a fresh start, clean slate, yeah. no matter what you did last year. like. Nobody's going to hold that against you. It's not going to play in your favor. Like, clean slate for everybody. And I feel like the running backs room is definitely one of those positions where that's going to be true this fall. Absolutely. Very high energy position coach in Barthol as well. Uh, his guy's really responding to that coaching so far. But, you know, you, you mentioned Brian Buscini earlier. Well, Ed Foley said, you know, Saturday when they were kind of getting that scrimmage, uh, they were working on, you know, some of the different punting techniques and in particular pooch punting, you know, getting it down inside the 10 or whatever it may be. And Foley said Buscini put on a clinic, uh, something that you kind of expect from a veteran, a guy who, who's really, you know, taken that craft and, and ran with it the last few months. Oh yeah, and he is, he's 100% healthy after spraining his ankle, he said three different times last year, uh, still punted on it because of course he did, but he, was, he said it was like a balloon is the word that he used. And so just using the off season to get that right, he's doing a lot of ankle strength exercises, even though he, he said multiple times, I'm 100% healthy, uh, but he wants to keep getting stronger, so that's not an issue. Um, and he'll be hopefully even better this season is what he's hoping for. Yeah, really tough to, to play through all that stuff. Uh, don't envy him, <laughs> certainly with all that ankle stuff. So coming back to full strength, as you said, and another player is kind of in the same way, a different boat, different situation, but talked with Jamari Butler a little bit, a guy who, of course, you know, managed to break onto the field, get some playing time there as a freshman. Well, he had an interesting off season, you know, thinking about going into the transfer portal. He did. He said he was in the portal, you know, for a day, had a lot of schools come back, you know, reach out to him, trying to get him to transfer. But ultimately what changed his mind he said he had a man-to-man -man conversation with Coach Matt Rule, kind of went over what the expectations were, you know, what he would expect to see, uh, you know, under the, under the new leadership in the program. And that just convinced him, you know, to stay at Nebraska. And he said he's really bonded with a lot of the different players coming in, Maverick, Noonan, MJ Sherman, uh, these different guys very close in that linebacker room. So Jamari Butler, uh, here to stay, definitely excited and eager to continue that growth from his freshman year into his sophomore. But... You know, that was another open practice in the books. We got the chance to see some stuff. Uh, we'll be back here Thursday, talk to more coaches and players. But again, appreciate all of you tuning in to today's Four Downs. Thanks for watching.